Several months ago, I was given this gray powdery stuff that's supposed to be lanthanum oxide. It's clearly contaminated though, as pure lanthanum oxide is white. In this video, I'll attempt to purify it and try to figure out what the impurities are. This video only shows the first couple of steps. The rest will be in a later video. First, the impure lanthanum oxide is added to a beaker. Then, 10 milliliters of 15% hydrochloric acid are added to it. There's an immediate hissing and bubbling, showing that there is some carbonate in this mixture, not just oxides. An additional 10 milliliters of distilled water was added because the slurry was too thick to swirl properly. Once most of the solids have dissolved, the mixture is filtered through a cotton plug to remove the remaining insoluble impurities. What's left after filtration is a clear green solution. Upon being added to a solution of sodium bicarbonate, a white precipitate instantly forms. I think that the green color of the solution may be due to praseodymium being present, and if it is, then it's likely that a whole host of lanthanides are which makes it much more difficult to purify than I would have thought at first. Next I attempt to do a vacuum filtration to separate the precipitate. Unfortunately, the precipitate is so fine that it clogs up the fritted funnel. Because of this, I opt for a different option. After sitting overnight, most of the supernatant liquid is decanted and what remains is added to a centrifuge tube. The tube is then placed in the centrifuge across from a blank of equal volume to balance it. The sample is centrifuged for two minutes. The supernatant solution is pipetted off, replaced with distilled water, shaken thoroughly, and then returned to the centrifuge. This process is repeated three times to wash the precipitate. A final wash with acetone is done so that the product will dry quickly, and after it all evaporates, what's left is a fine, slightly off-white powder. For lack of a better name, I think that this would best be called lanthanide carbonate as it likely contains a number of different lanthanides. That's as far as I'll go in this video. In part two, I'll try several tests to determine if there are any other non-lanthanide metals present in this carbonate mixture, though I'll probably have a few videos before I return to this project.